fundamentals are, the, are obvious and have been mentioned. We need to raise average teacher pay. We need to raise based teacher pay. Now, I'm not one that believes in across the board raises. I believe that there are folks that can do, that are willing to take on additional roles and they should be properly compensated and incentivized to do so. I believe that we need to fundamentally overhaul our teacher preparation programs. By and large, we know we're fundamentally teaching, in my opinion, we're fundamentally preparing teachers the same way today as we were preparing teachers 30 years ago. Frankly, there might be some, there might be some deans of the schools of education I, I here that might disagree with you. And, and I do understand that. I've been out visiting some of, the, of our teacher prep programs, and I'm, I plan to visit all of them. But we need to kick up, yeah, significantly, I believe, improve our teacher education programs, and as well as we need to take another look at how we do licensure and certification. I was interested to see last week we had a, a joint education oversight. We talked about licensure and certification here in North Carolina. That's fundamentally the same thing. But it's not the same thing in the engineering business. It's not the same thing in the in medical business. It's not the same thing as well in even in law. I think that we need to make, I think, it seems to me, we should differentiate and, and use licensure and certification as motivators, incentivize, and reward for those people that reach a little further. As you may recall, we have implemented a, a pilots on advanced teaching roles to encourage those teachers that are willing to take on additional responsibility, that have the capacity. We know, and this relates to class size as well, we know that there are teachers that can handle larger classes than other teachers. It depends on the teacher, it depends on the class, it depends on the subject, it depends on lots of things. Again, we get back to, are we doing it the same way we've been doing it? And if so, we need to take a look at that and find a better way. Lisa, you talk to teachers, you're a teacher, you talk to teachers every day, you're traveling all over the state. Are our classrooms and our teachers just like they were 100 years ago? You're yeah. not a lot. Now, don't yeah. mean, I, I'll say, you didn't say that, but we've yeah. heard the industrial age that we're not, we're doing everything the same way we used to. No. And I do, I, I feel like I need to go back to the point um, about the teacher preparation. I was at an event last night and was able to hear from UNC Chapel Hill, NC State, ECU. They are doing great things and I applaud them for the teacher prep that they are, they are doing. The problem is uh, that we have put testing um, ahead of instruction. <laughs> Classrooms. Teachers can't teach because they're too focused on the test, and that's why you don't. Do they feel respected as a professor? I mean, as no, a, they okay. they do not. They feel as if they they don't matter, and there is a huge disconnect between what's happening in Raleigh and what's happening um, in Bertie County, in Robeson County, in Onslow County, in Lee County. Uh, you know, there there is a vast difference. Charlotte Neck, Wake. You know the disparities are there, and and we're not we're not seeing it, and we're not addressing it. Um, so, yeah, th things have definitely changed in 30 years, and I invite legislators to go into these schools uh, on any given day and just see what is going on. Talk to these teachers. All right, let's talk.